Hey everyone, welcome back to another Jazz Drummer Q-Tip of the Week. If you're new, my name is Quincy Davis. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and checking it out. If you enjoy this lesson, go ahead and let me know by pressing that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, why not? I put out weekly drum lessons that many drummers all over the world have found helpful, and I'm confident you will too. All right, so in this video, I did kind of a compare and contrast of funk drums versus jazz drums. Right. And I want you to tell me in the comments section down below what you felt, what you noticed, what you hear um, and what you prefer. Everyone's going to prefer something different. But the idea is that I play the same way on both sets. Right. So these are the, the jazz, the jazz drums. So I played jazz, of course, on these these drums, but I also played funk on these drums. And I did the same thing on my funk kit. I played funk on the kit, but also I played jazz on that kit. Um, so I think you're going to find it really interesting. And I should also note that aside from the drums, everything else is the same. The cymbals are the exact same. The miking is the exact same. And the mix is exactly the same. So the only thing that changed in these videos are the drums. OK, let me know in the comment section what you felt. What do you prefer on which kit? OK, everyone's going to say something a little different. So this is going to be very interesting. So without further ado, here's a compare and contrast of funk drums versus jazz drum.
right, so that is it. That is the compare and contrast of funk drums versus jazz drums. Um, please let me know in the comment section what you thought, what you felt um, sounded better on which kit. Everyone's going to say something different. But what I, one thing that I will say is that um, even though the equipment is very important, it's the language that you use that is even more important. So I can play either style, as you've probably noticed, on both kits, right? But it's the language that I had to change to make sure that I was playing uh, a stylistically appropriate and authentic, right? That's the biggest difference. Now, of course, we all prefer a certain sound with that style, and that's why I did this video. But as far as the language and the approach, um, that kind of mindset has to change depending on the style that you play. So just remember that. All right, that's the video, and I'll see you next time. Of course, until then, I want you to practice hard, but practice smart. Peace out. Bye-bye.